In this video, I'm going to be talking about variables and data types in MATLAB. And before I begin, I just want to say that I've increased the font size on my computer so that if I type text in here, for example, if I say clear, it should look bigger than it did in the previous video. So if people are looking at this video in a um, smaller screen, like a 15 inch, hopefully it will be readable or easier to read than the first one. Variables are parameters that store data in MATLAB. So for example, when I said a is equal to two in my first video, a variable named a with a value two was created. And there's a function in MATLAB that uh, will tell me information about the variables, which, call, which is called whose. If I type whose alone and don't provide any input to that, it will list all the variables like this. I only have one variable a. This is a one by one size, which is a scalar, eight bytes, and it's a dabble. And if I say who's A, it will just list the variable that I have given after the uh, command A. So in the first video, I also had a variable B called uh, or uh, with value 3. So who's will give me both of them. I can say just who's B. It gives me that variable B. So as you can see, you don't need to actually define the variable before giving values to it, which is a case, for example, in C or C++ that you have to actually initiate the variable before giving value to that. In MATLAB, you can just start saying C as a variable is equal to a number or anything. Let's give it a string for now, for example, A or a string. And now I say whose C it's a 16 byte character, one row and eight columns, and its name is C. So the numbers by default were dabble. So who's A, as you can see, says a dabble. What if I wanted to have this as a integer? I can convert the data types from dabble to integer or integer to dabble by using appropriate commands. Ent 16, int 32, or int 64 are three commands that can convert a number from dabble to integer. So if I say int 64, and let's call this um, b is equal to int 64a. Now, b is still equals to 2, but the, the data type is int 64. But in order to know what these data types are, the best way is to do help in MATLAB. And actually, for any command that you don't know much about, you can just type help space and the command name. So int 64. If you scroll up, it is a description that MATLAB has provided about the command int 64, which means converts the elements of an array x into signed 64-bit integers. The sign here means that the, the numbers can be negative or positive. And the limits for an int 64 range from minus this value, which is too big for me to actually be able to read it, to the positive of the same value, minus 1, because there is also a 0 in between there. There is another type of integer numbers, which start with u, which means unsigned. For example, if I click on u int 64, and scroll up, it says unsigned 64-bit integers. That means that these variables won't take negative values. So the limit for these values range from 0 to 18 point something 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 uh, and it's basically a very big number that you can put as integers. So you can't give uh, floating numbers to integer variables. So b is equal to 2.6, I think we'll replace b with, from what it was to what it will be. So now b has changed. If I say whose, oh, I should have said whose b, now it's become a double again. So let's change it back to uint 64 b, and let's call this a new variable d. 
and I'm going to put a backslash here or semicolon here. U and C. yeah, I yeah. So I I made a typo in my command. Instead of saying U int, I typed unit anyway. So MATLAB figured it out and told me, did you mean U int 64, which is what I actually meant? And D is created, and it's three now, which is basically rounded the number to up because 2.6 is closer closer to three than to two. So if I say who's D, or let's actually do who's, and it will tell me that D is a one by one scalar, eight bytes and unsigned integer 64. In the description for the commands about data types, there is this uh, help link called data types. If I click on that, it will give me a list of data types which are available in MATLAB, starting from top. I have to scroll up a little bit. I have dabble, logical, which is true or false, cell, structures, tables, singles, all the way to even Java arrays and uh, everything else. I have class, class array functions, um, which has MATLAB to uh, matrix to cell, which we'll be talking about later, or cell to matrix, arrays, which we'll be working a lot with structures, um, tables, and everything else. So it's worth reading through these uh, uh, descriptions to figure out what each of these data types mean. Let me clear the command line and uh, start with the logical or Boolean variables. Boolean variables can only take true or false values. Let's say I want a va variable called t and make it equal to true. And one thing which is important to remember is that MATLAB is very case sensitive. So if I had typed capital letter T true, it wouldn't work. So let's just try it. So that undefined functional variable true with capital T, did you mean T is equal to true with lowercase t? And that's exactly what I meant. And a T with value one is created. And the icon for it is a checkbox or a check mark, which means it's the logical value. And f is equal to false. And f is created with the same icon for a logical, and the value is zero for false. And you can see that the icons for the parameters are different depending on their type. Uh, for example, a string or c is ch for character, d, b, and a, because they're numbers, they could be scalars or arrays are like a four by four array. F and T, which are logical, are the check mark. The next things that we can do in, uh, in MATLAB are creating arrays and matrices and working with them, as well as cells, which I will be talking about in the next video.